going on folks, I'm Automatic. I just wanted to give you guys a quick video about counter hit setups and confirming with Young Zeku. I think it's very important and it'll add a lot of um, better situations with Young Zeku uh, in terms of knockdowns, in terms of damage. We're going to show you why it works and how you can practice it. So, what I have right now is a Kuki set to do her 3 frame jab on reversal. And I want to demonstrate how my standing medium punch will counter hit her when I'm doing my crouching jab and my standing light kick. These buttons are really important in terms of using a, <clears throat> excuse me, using a manual time for their for their BD if you knock them down. I think there's a couple knockdowns with Gunzeku that I think it's better to use a man manual timing. And I think overall, just when you're up close for any reason, knowing what kinds of uh, opti optimized combos you can get off of counter hitting your opponent is very important. So, off of this crouching jab, you also get a throw, so that's also good. You get this counter hit standing medium punch. Now, when this standing medium punch actually counter hits, you can actually get a crouching hard punch and then confirm it to the slide. I think some characters you can actually do the beast be skill for close enough, which is also really, really good. Maybe not a pokey. Yeah, I think your jab actually pushes your back further. But you can get a slide for sure. Shout out to Javix. Told, told me about this. The other alternative is using the standing medium punch again into the slide. Now, this works at a greater distance for your crouching hard punch. Would not work. Now, the most optimal thing to do is, is another standing medium punch. You can actually walk up and then combo another standing medium punch. It takes some practice. I don't get it 100% of the time. But if you can, walk up and do it again. You get the target combo. Bada bing, bada boom. 267 damage, 45 stun. Good stuff. So, now that's a good that's a good thing to know about counter hits. Actually, I should back up a little bit. The standing short when you do this, the crouching pierce will not, the second hit the crouching pierce will not, will not work. So you have to use the slide here. I don't think you can walk up here. I think you're too far away. I think you're staying short. Well, I'm pushing them too far away. Maybe there is a very tight link you can do there, but I would suggest, especially for now, you see this counter hit? Go to the slide. Now, when your opponent is mashing, I don't know if you've ever experienced this before, you may get a counter hit from that first initial hit. So now you want to be able to com convert off of both counter hits, but, but this is why it's important. The crouching jab when it counter hits, and the standing short will also link into that standing strong if it counter hits. Now if that happens, then you want to complete the target combo. This is the reason why I think this target combo can be delayed slightly, because of counter hit confirming off of the crouching jab, and the standing short. So you're doing this block string anyways. And then once you see counter hit, then you confirm into the um, back hard punch here. I guess you don't have to use back hard punch. It's just hard punch. So the way you can train yourself to do this, I haven't quite perfected it yet. You look for the first counter hit, and if that doesn't happen, you just accept that your standing medium punch will uh, be a frame trap. And then if that counter hits, then you'll go into the secondary, the secondary confirm. So, the way you train this initially is not to really be concerned with the second counter hit. Not worried about that counter hit. I want to look for the first one. Then I confirm into the target combo. As soon as I see that counter hit happen initially, then I, once I program into my muscle memory, when that timing is, then I can start looking for the uh, other, the other counter hit. This is a little bit trickier, but it's absolutely possible. Let's see if I can get it to where uh, I'm confirming both. I'm getting pretty lucky here. I'm <laughs> getting a counter hit on the first one. When you're training this, you're more likely to get a counter hit on the first hit. No counter. So I didn't go into anything. Nothing. And then I go into the slide. So you, once you find the timing window for it, you can do this with both, and you can begin to optimize uh, both as well. And just a side note, you can link standing medium punch and then walk up and do another one. It is, it is not easy. It's not something you can match because you do have to walk forward in between it. Uh, but yeah, I think that having, uh, understanding that and combining it with the crouching medium punch and confirming off of that, I think we'll take your young Zeku up to, um, you'll start to see the light where this character is ridiculous. I think this character is really, really good. Uh, it's just going to take some time to learn everything and also synergize it with the young Zeku. Uh, so yeah, that's it for now. I hope you learned something. I did it too early. I'm automatic. Like, subscribe. <laughs> One of these days, I'm going to do a good outro. <sighs> I'm automatic.